All so right, I'm assuming, nice. like, no matter what, like, we don't burn cards because it's going to be a endurance fight. Yeah, it's a long, long one. So, uh, what is it called again? Arcane. Arcane Library. Second try. You want to just keep moving? Yep. Oh, what? Uh, there's no way we're 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 making the level. What really? There's no way. Minus one perk point. Wounded. I wonder three if that's damage. a permanent minus one perk point. I say we just we 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 shut everything down right now. Yeah. All right. Because if it was a level that we didn't know anything about. Are you just picking stuff? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to exit. I'm not even going to bother. What if it like saves it where we're at, though? No, no, I'm going to like abandon quest and we'll just suicide it because we're going to waste an hour and a half fucking around with it, you know? Yeah, there's no way you're starting out wounded. No way. Yeah, the wounded is like horrible. Yeah. Now we lost. Damage taken three, it's a record. Uh -huh. I wonder if we actually the permanently lost perk point. I'm curious. Remember how many you had? Uh yeah, I had two on both my people, now I have one. Perfect. Perfect. I hate when games take away that kind of progression. Yeah, that stuff is... That's like one of the things, like in board games and so much stuff, it's like you never do something that it takes you 30 minutes to two hours to get. And then they take never, it away. Yeah. Dude, yeah, I mean, I've got other shit to... Like, I, I don't know. It's... it's. I, I guess if I didn't... Find a way around the trees. If you could load the game or something, maybe, I guess. I don't know. I mean, if I was playing the board game and that popped up, I would, uh, yeah, we can survive that. I, w I would toss that card. I'd be like, nope, we're not doing that. Yeah, me too. It looks like the old writings you found at the mad mystic moor's bane were true. Oh, we don't play that. is we popped up to like level three on a uh, party level so it's even harder now all right <clears throat> so we need to put i'm gonna put my crag where your big dude is I hate that we lost a perk point. Awful. I mean, it's like... Now I'm like sitting here wondering, okay, are they gonna like steal a level from us too or something? Yeah.
Maybe. Uh, do you want, do you want me to, uh, plus one every, or, never mind, never mind, I, yeah, it's not gonna work. I started to think maybe I'll, um, heal us, but I'm like, no, we need to kill these things pretty quick. Yeah. Okay, I got a, I got a cat now. <laughs> Just hanging out with you. I just I drug her in here. All right, so I'm gonna create a block here, cause damage, kill those two. And All right, we're already off to a better start. And then. These guys are going to move and attack at range, so I'm going to give everybody shields. Yeah, hit him. He's not going to do any damage. Hit me. Move three, attack one. Curse? Yeah, I don't want that curse card. I'm going to go ahead and hit him. I'll start whaling them. The grizzly bear. Alright. The big one? Yeah. Alright, I did one damage to him. Okay, that's good. Come on down here, guys. Okay. I hope you don't get curses if it doesn't go through. I bet it does. You still get a curse. You're going to have so many curse cards. Yeah. But with him, at least, it's like I just want him tanking. Yeah, the rest of them are, DP are damage, so. Hey, look, I got a yeah. mug. I want Mara want a mug for me. Nice. Yeah. Mug. All right. 
Yeah, so yeah, you're pretty... Chasing two allies. I mean, she can move up and like hit that bear, but I kind of want to do the three attack. Yeah, I'm with you on that, especially hitting that little two, uh, two health, dude. I'm wondering if I should hit all the imps or if I should work on the bear. No, I'm going to hit all the little imps with goggles. Yeah. Great. Nice. And good. That was a good goggle draw there. That was plus one instead of minus two. Yeah, and I'm not going to be messing with... Uh... I'm not going to mess with any of my... Uh... Uh, summons. I'm gonna save them. Okay. I think I'm gonna try to top off everybody's health. Actually, I don't know because like we can heal on the way to the dude. Yeah. So I'm gonna fo focus mostly on damage. And I kind of want to move her up and like wail on this bear, but the problem is he'll attack the scoundrel. I do have another throwing knives. I may just do that. I might throw a uh, poison on the bear. Alright, then I'm going to go kind of slow. Yeah, I'm there throwing a poison on the bear, and then I'm You're not going... supposed to tell. You're not supposed to tell me that. Yeah, I am. That doesn't matter. I don't think the rules say anything about that. Now, if you stand next to me, you get plus one. Do you need an element on the field? No. What are they doing? We're attacking again. Um, should I hit this fairy or hit the bear with that poison <laughs> attack? Man, I I just I want those fairies off the the board. The problem is we got like four of them out there. Like, because I don't want them doing that damn heal. I'm not going to use the uh, damage potion. I'm just going to do the regular attack. Nice. Instant death on that that thing. No, that's uh, poison. That's not wound. No, I'm saying like if anyone even just attacks it. Oh, well, yeah. I guess not instant damage, but it's like a plus one. It gets rid of the shield, I guess. All right, unstoppable charge. I'm probably gonna have my curse hit me. We've got so many. Uh, I'll take six. <clears throat> it kind of makes me wish I hit that with poison now. The one thing that was one of the cards I put it that unstoppable where it's like five damage. It's no, it's not a burn. I'm doing all this with a plus one, so let's see how this goes. Oh, no. You just you just f that dude up, man. All right, I'm not going to move because I don't want to damage everybody oh actually no I can't what am I thinking all right at least two of the fairies are muddled now oh no Next turn, I think I'm going to start going towards the door um, with my 
with my uh, crag heart. Man, that was a good, that was a good uh, muddle there. That was a minus two, so plus one. Oh shit, should I, I don't know if I should start moving her up. Come on, man. Leave the tinkerer alone. It's whoever's the weakest. Uh... Oh, shit. I forgot this bear was back here. And I moved the scoundrel up. <sighs> um... One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm right. I'm trying to make my scoundrel go as slow as possible and it's not working. there I could go one one two three no but I could stand here and do it yeah I'm gonna do that <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and I know I'm attacking at disadvantage here as long as I don't get a minus two I kind of want to go ahead and pop this potion I'm gonna do it Alright, and then I'm gonna move. Do you need an element? No. I'm gonna see if I need one with a crag heart. No, I don't. Alright, I'm gonna mobilize him. And, uh, move away. That way he doesn't keep hitting me. <clears throat> oh man, I hate. So, you could move that brood up if you need, and my crag. Well, no, my crag heart needs to move up because he's got to clear the obstacles. <laughs> I'd say hit the one of the like the little weak fairy. I suggest you. If you stood here, you could hit them both, right? Yeah. Here we go. I'll move up here. I get an automatic attack. We'll hit the, the stronger one. There's your curse oh, card. Click the wrong one. Oh, man, no. That thing's below me. Yeah, Them that's... floating above, it like messes me up. Yeah, me too. I had to turn the angle to see that. At least we can take one out. Unless you pull a curse. 
pull the Pierce and a curse, he'd be good. <laughs> kind of exploded. Confirm. Skip. Heal. I'm going to go ahead and do a stunning attack. That looks like it would hit like all around or something. Yeah. that round. Forward uh, allies of Jason. No, that's not really worth it. I mean, do you have that? Uh, I guess I can't reach the bear, but. Um. Either way, we're doing. Uh, exponentially better than we did the, the first time we did this. Yeah, give me just another second here. I'm gonna try to... I think One. I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna put... Two. Three. Four. I, I swear to God, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're gonna take that fairy out pretty easily, you think? Yeah, that that fairy's gone. Alright, so I'm gonna get the hell out of here and heal myself. And I'm gonna just let that bear come to us, because we got nothing to do in that room. And ah, he's shielding, retaliating. Oh, well, hey, made the right choice. He's stunned, though, so yeah. Perfect. So, I goofed. I do not want to heal myself with this heal. I will just run. Yeah, I don't want to burn that. And then I'm going to put green on the field for myself. You could to get a jump start. Um, if you have nothing else to do with your brute, go ahead and run them up to the plate, open it. That way the fairies can start moving through, and then you can just step off of it and close the door, and we'll kill the fairies and open it again or something like that. Kind of get that clock ticking, you know? Because you've got that jump uh, move. Yeah, that's true. That you can just get through it, so the crag, the, the crag heart doesn't really need to go before you. I mean, are you good? Yeah, you're good on that bear? Yeah, I'm good. 
All right, I do not want to burn this one card. Oh, I can still move. I'm going to open the door. The door nearly falls off. I'm going to go back. Uh, I think we're probably doing about the same that we did the first time we played this. <laughs> I attack three. If I'm here, I can go one, two, three. Why don't I just do this? I'll just attack at disadvantage. Oh. Okay. It's like the game knows that it's like, oh yeah, you guys suck. Here, we'll help you out. There, he's already in position for the uh, for the move now. All right, perfect. So you've got the you got the card. I got the card. I think the scoundrel should be the one that stands on the uh, pressure plate, or or the tinkerer. Thing is, is my Kragheart can get there this turn. Like, well, no, I don't have boots this time. Never mind. Actually, it probably <gasps> uh, until they get through. Cause my scoundrel d does a lot of damage. Oh shit! So, how fast is your Kragheart moving on this turn? Uh, give me just a moment here. Oh, pff, no wonder. I'm looking at the wrong fucking character. I'm like, don't tell me I fucking used it. Um, not very fast. Kind of middle speed. Mid, mid speed. Well, then I'm going to long rest by... Uh... A long rest by... Scoundrel. My goal is to, with the uh, my brute, that I'm gonna pop that. I'm gonna burn that one card. That is like immune to damage. Um. Oh, okay. No, it's like. I got a little worried there. Did you think I goofed? I was, just, I was like, what the hell just happened? Shit. Uh, I don't want to burn the move six. Man, whenever we get just our asses handed to us and we come back in, I feel like we do so much. Like, we know exactly how to, like, we know how to handle the map and where to burn and not burn and stuff, so... Yeah. Well, I mean, honestly, that first one, though, when we did it, like, is that bear hit us? And then they just kept healing the the bear. Like, that's that's cool. I didn't need any healing. There we go. <laughs> oh, I know. That's why I healed myself. You're going to get healed, man. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. You forget the crag hearts right there. And we're going to have two of our uh, summons in there, too. Right. Okay. And I'm just uh, going to Here's the problem. My, my brute, should I long rest him? Can you get around him if he just stands here? Uh, let me check here. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a uh, pair of boots I could use. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and long rest my Kragheart, too, since everybody else is long resting. And that'll give your scouter enough time to get on the platform. Yep, perfect. Perfect. So we need to get wound on him immediately, and then poison pretty much right away too. And I'll try to keep him stun locked. We'll, we'll try to use the traps and stuff to keep him stun locked.
Oh man. Uh, I should have dropped my people. I wonder if it will let me drop them on the uh, hard terrain. That oh, difficult terrain. Yeah, no, you're if you drop your one move dude, he won't be able to get off that. Well if he starts on it though. I think it's only when you run into it that it gets you. You know what? I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm going to hold on to that. And then I'll go ahead and heal your, your dingus Magoo. See, one for me, one for you. Yeah. I just like, with this long rest, I can get his items back. Yeah, that's why I did Crag Heart. That way I can get his uh, boots back. <clears throat> I don't know if I'll need them or not. Alright. I got rid of my pull ability, so hopefully that doesn't uh, burn us. I'm wondering if I should leave put Muddle. Uh, I probably should with all those little fairies. I'll keep Muddle. And then... Uh... That heal. My, my boulder thing. Move one. Uh, for two damage. That's a burn. Buffer one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna ditch that one. <coughs> I'm just going to short rest my tinker. Alright, so you want the scoundrel stepping on that thing? Uh, yeah, probably best to. You want me to go slow, or you want me to you want me to zap it quick? So go ahead and, go ahead and hit it. Um, I'll do what I want. How about that? How about you just do whatever the hell you want? I'm probably just going to do whatever the hell I want. I think... I think that is a good call. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's what I always think. This cat right here? You never know when it's going to just suddenly, like, attack you. It's like a game. I play. See? Look. See? I see. Yeah, but every now and then when she wakes up, she will claw my hand up. Because she is not a friendly cat. She's like upside down. She looks so fluffy and pettable, though. Yes. That's what she's like trying to trick you. Oh, let me see if my cat will come. Kitty, kitty! I'll just give her a minute. Sometimes she comes, sometimes she doesn't. Alright, I'll throw the skeleton down because he can run across the water. The All other right. guy cannot. Oh, it didn't it didn't let you put it there? No. <clears throat> nice. Weren't there four last time? Wow. Nah, I thought it was just three. He, okay. You could step off the trap now. It may, it may push him back in the room, though, is the only problem. Alright, I'm gonna burn. Shit, that's my bottom one. Nah, either way, I gotta, I gotta get going. So that's my immunity to damage. Yeah, he's going to be... Oh. 
Of course. Of course. Game over, man. I'm burning my computer. <laughs> just throw it in the trash. <laughs> At least these guys are just like little, little week two guys, you know? Not what the Craig Hart's doing. It's of feeling... course. Once that golem steps in, I'm just gonna step off the panel and like leave those imps in there. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I wonder if I can Since maybe go... he's in front of him. I'm gonna see if I can run there and maybe use a pull to pull him out into the trap and then you can step off. That'd be perfect. It would be perfection. see if I got my pull card I do I do and I'll go pretty I'll go pretty quick but not the fastest I can possibly go well then I'll make uh, I can make her go pretty slow I would say mid speed because he, you know he's gonna be really slow but the only thing is the fairies might be faster and run out of the room too so yeah well I mean he's just he's blocking them though uh, my only thing, I can either go super fast or super slow. That's all she got. So I'm, I'm gonna, I'll put her on the slow. Yeah, we don't want her to go too fast. That would spoil the whole plan. Yeah, then I'll. <clears throat> but I do. I do need to get my. Gosh, man, I need to get my guy up there. I, I do want to loot that chest with my scoundrel specifically. I mean, my tinkerer, specifically my tinkerer, in order to help make up for what happened on our way here. Yeah? Yeah. But I'm not going to tell you any more detail than that. So he's going 28. That's kind of fast, isn't it? But he'll be stunned. The fairies Looting are going... Three. And he's going to pull, pull and immobilize. Yeah. So the fairies are going to come up behind him. I think I'm going to pull him. Should I pull him at the bottom or the, or the right one, you think? The right one would be closer to the action with a skeleton. Yeah. Crap! I have to pull him too. But it well, he'll work. go through. He'll go through it though. Yeah. Gosh, I wish he could step off right now. I'm tempted to make it to where those fairies will stay in there. Ah, uh, uh, they're moving three one. They're all. They're all getting through. I'm gonna go ahead and pull my tinkerer back then. Okay, he's stunned. We'll have to worry about that this turn. My brute. Gosh, I, I want to get up there. I really <laughs> want to get up there. Well, I might be able to push one of the fairies back into the room. At least we don't have to worry about them standing on the panel to open the door. That wasn't funny. I thought it was funny. It wasn't funny. It was hilarious. Okay, good. I'm just going to attack the shit out of my crag heart, I guess. Oh, no. That sucks to take a hit on that for two damage. 
Well, no, that wasn't my immunity. I still kept that. Th those oh. were my items. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm keeping that, yeah, immunity for when it's some huge... Mainly when the golem starts, like, wailing on me. Right. Although, if I can get something to push him two times... I've got a two-push um, with my crash All right, arc. well, that that one guy's stuck in the door, so he's effed when I, I'm going to jump off the door. All right, I'm going to do this. I'm just going to hit them all and muddle them all. <laughs> that works. Yeah. It's like if you're tinkers, you know. Well, I guess. Well, here's the thing. Do you want me to jump off the thing, or just hold it open? Just hold it open if you can. I mean, maybe you could jump off for a turn just to drop your summon. Um, actually, let me put. Let me put my. If I put my Kragheart here, you could stand there and drop your summon and then have your Brute stand there. Yeah. Yeah. I could do that. Uh-oh, Skelly's moving in, man. Well... I'll do a little attack on him. You're gonna do so much damage. I didn't do any damage. I noticed. Kind of hope, hoping. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of status effect are you doing uh, next turn, if any? What do you mean? Are you gonna do poison wound? I don't know if I can get next to him. Uh, I guess I can't. Well, because I got to The scoundrel's got to get back up on the thing, right? Oh, I mean, I mean, with your. I didn't know who would do the. Do the deed. I could wound him. I can either wound him or poison him. I'm thinking I might want to poison him though. First turn. Since I have to pick, because I'm gonna run my. Got to pull. I can. I can wound him. I can put a wound on him. Um, but it'll put my scoundrel next to him. But so I, I could I could wound him on this next turn, and then on the next turn move back and jump on the thing just so we got a wound on him. Right. Yeah. Let's. Let's do that, and um, that delay will give me the time that I need to to move uh, to move in. My brute's gonna go in there and try to hit him as hard as he can. Because right. mainly he's gonna uh, the golem's gonna be hitting that spirit. And then on the next turn, he's going to hit the skelly. Although the spirit's going to get one, probably one good hit on him. Okay. <clears throat> I'm ready. Aww. Well, the skelly just messed up uh, my plan. Yeah, that wound's important. For fighting this guy for like seven turns, that's a lot of damage. Alright, so... I'm going to move... Move here. And 
I'm going to go ahead and slap poison on him. So now he'll have all the status effects. And your brute basically just burnt a turn, didn't he? Yeah, I mean, I can I can throw a dagger at him. I wanted my unstoppable charge, but I can't. There's no way I can... Well, wait a minute. One, two... All right, it's burning a card, but I'm but I'm gonna do it. Oh shit! What's he doing? Moves to attack. All right, I'm gonna hit him for a ranged attack first. There's my curse, and then let me get up next to him. Good, good. So that saves us a little bit of damage, doesn't it? Yeah. Five, yeah, yeah. Just keep him locked down, man. So, um, I'm going to do a pierce attack. I'm going to short rest my scoundrel. And then I'm going to move her quick and I'll get her back to the, uh... Uh, you don't need to go that fast, really. Uh, all I have is fast. All right, that's fine. It doesn't matter. I'm just saying, like, if it makes a difference, you don't have to go that fast. No, I am going to do a burn card of, like, a crazy strong attack. Real quick, also, so these guys get a turn before they die. Right. Man, I, feel, I feel like this is going a little bit better than last time. Uh, a little bit, like slightly. Let's see, advantage. Oh, wow. Six oh. damage. I'll take it, I guess. Wow. 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 Yeah, so what's going to happen is my tinker is going to move here, and then he's going to long rest so I can get my fly floating boots back. It's actually kind of a perfect setup because we can get your, we can keep hitting your, um, your scoundrel can keep hitting the golem. There's no benefit to burning all your curse cards, by the way. Yeah, I know. Let me look. I'm, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six curse cards in my deck right now. <laughs> <coughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> it's just funny because you just, this damn that that first room is such a bitch. You know, for that, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm going, and I'm gonna get, I'm no, running over dude. here. No, dude. Oh man. Because oh, I can man. go one. Two, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dude, I can reach it. <laughs> uh, oh, oh should I do it? Maybe I should do it. And I want my perk point. I want my damn perk point back. <laughs> Create a three. Ah, oh, no. 
No, I can't do it. I don't want to hit everybody for one damage. I'm just gonna do. I'm gonna do a uh, manual swing. You, you can. You can hit everyone for one damage. Because no matter what, he's gonna attack. Attack six. That he's he's gonna attack the skeleton. Because the skeleton's the lowest health. Oh shit! Why do you? Uh... <laughs> Oh shit, I have to use my Juggernaut card. Well, why'd you let me do that? Alright, I'm just gonna short rest my Brute. Two, three, four. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna short rest my my dingus malingus. Dingus malingus. Are you able to put air on the battlefield? No. Sorry. But I am gonna stun the golem again this turn. Alright. I'm gonna do a bunch of like little weenie attacks just cause I got so many curse guards. And then I'm gonna go slow. I'm gonna go slow with my scoundrel to let you get enough time to get into that room. Yeah, so I'm, but I'm just gonna stun him. And then I got a burn move of six that I'm gonna use. Of course. No, no. Oh my gosh. See what that shit wanted to do to me? Yeah. Push you right through it. Perfect. Lock, lock you in that room. I don't even care if it's a poison chest. I mean, I do. I'd rather it not be. But even if it is, I just want my damn perk point back. Nice. Fierce. Oh, man. Alright. I'll take it. I'll take it. <clears throat> He's like, no damage, no damage. I'll take this. I'll take that. <laughs> I've taken more damage from your crag heart than I have the golem. Well, we keep, we're keeping him locked down pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's stunned, so both of the spirits are going to be able to go. Dang it. I wish there was something I could do from in here. I can heal myself.
guess I'm gonna try to I guess I'll try to muddle him I'm not gonna do really much damage oh no actually I can just I'll go as fast as I can I think I can stun him crap he's gonna beat us to it Well, the summons did a fair bit of damage, though, so that's good. Uh, that they did. I'll still stun him though, that'll be good for next turn. <laughs> Bye, skeleton. True damage, true damage. Nah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna refresh. Confirm. I'm gonna attack him. Oh I guess I don't get my hammer. I thought I was gonna stun him. Four. Watch, it's gonna be poison. Trap. Or something for the store. Yay. I think we should all get 10 XP for the amount of work that we had to do to <laughs> get you to it. <laughs> I'll start running back out. I'm gonna short rest. Redraw, whatever. trying to farm experience points. So I can grab gold. Do you think you'll be able to open the door for me again, or no? It's uh, not, it's not really necessary, is it? No, I, this guy's gonna be dead before then. Watch, it'll be like your character has died forever. They were locked in a room. Yeah, that's and I, and, I, and I would find that funny. <laughs> <clears throat> well, shit, man. Oh, it's not gonna do anything there. Uh, yeah, I'm getting experience is what I'm trying to do. Uh. 
I'm just playing all my experience cards. Alright, now he's gonna start hitting us. But he's got one health left with wound, so you got him. Dude, that was a completely different experience than, <laughs> of course, I guess we knew what to expect. But it did seem like the first room was a lot easier. Totally different. It's all about those different card draws, I guess, like... The on the begin to Plus, we came in, like, wounded. The first time we didn't. Rummaging through the library, you find that what it learned, however, was that it was a soulless monster. You also find a gl Found a glowing core. You didn't get your 13 experience. Nope, only 10. I would have, like, had a, a perk to check, except you, you chose something earlier and it made me lose a perk point. You chose it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm unable to click things. Power core. Uh -huh. What does that do? 